This van is from Mega Mobile from Slovenia. This is their Mega Revolution. And this is the CMT trade fair in Stuttgart. Now, uh, the word revolution has been used before. I think it was used by Globe Scout, okay, part Purcell, and uh, for, for their revolution. See, this one's more revolting, uh, more uh, revolutionary than the one from Globe Scout. Now, 640, it tells you uh, how long it is. I mean, lots of uh, companies use that designation. This thing here is going to cost 65,500 euros in this condition because it's got lots of additions to it. 51,000 is the kickoff price. And as it's on a uh, boxer, um, well, in fact, I mean, the car was very similar. 636, 205, 291 uh, in. Uh, in height so we've got a bit extra height on it and uh, what does that mean well it'll mean that there's a bit more room to storage in the uh, bulkhead here the revolution is uh, we've got two beds in the back so um, if you don't want to sleep with each other you can you can uh, you can do that alternatively you might have some kids you want to bring along with you uh, but another interesting feature, and I'm going to show you that when I get around to the back, what that uh, could actually do for you. We've got this rather large fridge, currently used for storing water. I bet it's vodka in there. And um, that's a good way of doing things, isn't it? You can stick the vodka in the bottles. Now, uh, and there's a bit more. Now, on that subject, there was somebody on Polish um, YouTube, and what he'd do is, because drinking in the streets now are not permitted in Poland, so he'd get a bottle, he'd fill it with water, and then he'd drink it next to the police, and then he'd run away. And uh, he's got a channel where he's doing things like this to show that the police aren't, uh, cause the police would run after him, and he'd then sort of climb a tree or something like that. Anyway, there's a story, it's got absolutely nothing to do with vans. I'll show you inside this. Okay, that's quite uh, undeep, not deep, what's that called? Shallow. So, but here, so look at this. You see, see? That's, that's deep and it's got sides that go up to the top. Um, this, these vans are using the same insulation in their vans that I'm actually put, going to put in my. Um, Sprinter, so it's Armour Flex. They're using 25 um, millimeters. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm using. Okay, I'm using twice that. But, 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 but what they're doing is after 20, they're putting over the top. Uh, they're putting a six uh, uh, millimeter. I think they said. I can't remember. Was it six millimeters? Yeah, something like that. Or maybe it's one one centimeter. Whatever. Uh, layer over the top of that, and that makes a lot of sense because where you got the joints. I didn't think of that one, but uh, I've learnt it now, so I'll um, I'll have to do that next time around. If I build any more vans, that is. Right, so if we come round to the, the back, so there you've got the... Oh! That's an external gas. Uh, you wouldn't want to... You can uh, plug external... External, uh, what do you call it? Power point. And that's where your water goes in. Right. Boxer. Of course, you know, the, the Citroen, the Peugeot and the Fiat, they're all made in the same plant anyway um, in Europe. So they're all made in, in Italy. Right, so you've got this double bed here, which will come out if you want. The one at the top is adjustable. You've got seat belts up there, uh, which will uh, allow the... Sorry, seat belts. You know, these things that are used for seat belts, them things there. Um, which will allow you to adjust the height of the bed. You've got the ladder down there. You probably wouldn't have this kind of a gap between the two of them. But what, what here is usually you can get, uh, I don't know, if you're carrying a lot of boxes around, you might have, uh, I don't know, a motorbike would go in there or not. Perhaps it wouldn't, I don't know. Uh, but if you like scooters or something like that, but normal bicycles certainly. So, um, that would that be one reason to sleep above and have all this extra space. So uh, that is uh, that vehicle. I'll show you one or two others as well, though. Uh, here we are Mega Vario Active 680 on an MAN. MAN introduced 
the uh, camper uh, van, sorry, the, how can we put it, the, the van in uh, 2018, two years ago now. And uh, so this one is much more expensive, the 74,000, 58,000 kickoff, and what it's got, so it's uh, the um, 683, uh, 84 centimeters uh, in length, 204 in width, and 259 outside. It's got a fresh water tank of 90 liters, and the bed is 195 by 178 by 191. MAN, they've taken out the, the bulkhead, it's having taken it out, it's not there to start off with, I'm going to put one in. Um, what is particularly good, and you may have noticed this because I was talking about people um, putting vod uh, water in vodka bottles and running away from the police, uh, I, uh, so I didn't uh, mention the bathroom, they uh, use the same uh, bathroom in all their vehicles. Use different fridges though. This is the new Dometic, very, 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 very uh, cute. So it opens up that way. I'll show you this. I've got this bin here now. Uh, what's unusual about that? You may think that doesn't seem anything flash to me. Well, you know, you've got one there as well. So you can uh, open it up from one side and open it up from another. Now, uh, I'm more interested in toilet doors being able, uh, not opening it in a uh, one direction. Well, of course, it's, this is only opening in one direction, or, but it's not coming out. Sliding door, in my opinion, is much better. Having said that, I'll actually, well, well I'm, here, I'm going to point this one out. Somebody told me, though, it is quite difficult getting this clean. So I need to, I need to point that one out. Um, I haven't actually had that experience myself. Having, I have used vans with um, uh, these uh, type of sliding doors on the toilet, but... Uh, uh, my job button wasn't to clean it out afterwards. Now it's only for a short period uh, of time I had it. So it gives you a view uh, down here. In 2020, it seems to me, maybe I've got this wrong, but uh, there seems to have been far more innovations by many uh, other um, companies, many companies. and. Uh, I just get that feeling, it seems to be, be far more. One thing that is uh, happening a lot of outdoors, what I mentioned earlier, is on the isolation. So I've got my friend in there who's uh, uh, he filming himself. He's from the channel Van, Fa Van Fan, so you, could, uh, you can see that. So he's in the Mercedes. Well, you have to see that in another uh, uh, video. Here we are, Mega... Megare, Mega Reactive. Ah, that's how you see it. So I thought it was Megare Active, but no, yeah, Mega Reactive. 680 centimeters in length. Again, on the MAN, the size will be the same, but the price won't. 76,000 this is going to cost. Kicks off at 59,000. The woolly mammoth is uh, possibly an option. Although I think that's a good symbol. Woolly mammoth, what does that make you think of? It makes you think of cold. So, this we have here on the Fiat Ducato basis. I'll just stick this around the uh, door rather quickly. See the um, here the hoovers going off. They have to get this look nice for the event and I'm going to finish by showing you the, the one I find least attractive which is the this one over here 
on the Peugeot Boxer, Boxer 600 centimeter long classic. So what's that mean? Classic normally means um, the starting off point if you like. With the hoovers going off, I've got to say it's not a problem, but as soon as people start putting music on, I'm afraid that's it. I've got I've got to stop. Anyway, I bought a Samsung S10 Plus telephone for this, and I've got to say it is so much easier to film with. Look, that's it, and it's, it's really light, and uh, I mean, it cost well over a thousand euros. I got the fully loaded one. I, I, by that time, I've added the other things, such as the, the protection and what have you, to it. But um, yeah, it's, that's really much easier for me. Not only that, now I can even upload uh, after I've done the film. At least I can here because we've got, we've got internet access. So, okay, I'll just show you this one here. That's, Nothing unusual about that, it's very, 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 very standard. Do you want to have a walk around the hall? We'll do that quickly, shall we? Westphalia, La Strada. Hey, there's one van here. Although I'm sort of certainly coming off the point here, but I'm going to show you this one here because I, I, I do, I do like this thing here. And this one here is a uh, what do you call it? A, a monocoque, single shell construction. Um, I don't think we call it a camper van though. I think this is a monocoque. It's 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 a motorhome. So these other things, these are camper vans because it's using the original. Uh, shell of the of the body of the original body but this thing here that's a motorhome and that's a monocoque one from La Strada hello <laughs> clever vans and you've got road car uh, Volkswagen down there uh, Mercedes now Mercedes show various vans, so the people, obviously Mercedes is a, 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 a it's the engine builder, or what you say, it's a, it's a car builder or whatever. <laughs> uh, so, but this is what other people have done with it there, so we've got a Heimer van there, we've got the uh, X-Class, but this is the way it's been uh, uh, turned around, used, uh, converted. I think that bit on the top there. Uh, here we have uh, the Westphalia. And down there we've got some Marco Poles. That's original uh, Mercedes um, equipment. I'm not going to go down there because I can hear some music, and uh, that'll uh, put me off. <laughs> and uh, it'll put off whoever the owner of the music is as well. Yeah, they've got some Knaus uh, vans, and uh, behind that, okay, Weinsberg, which is a brand of Knaus. And here, okay, there's a Westphalia. I mean, Westphalia vans, they're very expensive, but uh, they've got a certain um, chicness about them. Got a certain, not je ne sais quoi. Uh, I don't know. It's got a certain I don't know about them. Uh, Dreamer from uh, Rapido. And if we come to come to the back, oh, there's a bit of the sunlight there. You see, what I, I, I've just bought a... Uh, some uh, an app called Filmic Pro. Now it's probably looks dark right now, and I got this app because you can sort of set the white balance, so so it doesn't. You don't get these moments where it sort of changes rapidly from bright sunlight to um, uh, and you, and you can't see anything to dark uh, out, and still can't see anything. But anyway, I couldn't get the thing to work. You know, I'll show you all this here. This Easy Camper from Germany. We've got Globe Traveler here uh, from Poland. We've got a Balcamp 
from Poland. So I've been to Globe Traveller and Balkamps where they manufacture from. Uh, we've got uh, Roberta here. So, so yeah, I'm sort of really I'm Poland based uh, when I'm uh, even though I'm living in my van. <laughs> SCA uh, so they make I think they make the uh, these things at the top actually oh, Morgan hello oh I'll show you this thing later Van Esso who will do um, furniture for vans <laughs> and uh, oh Rhymo I want to push my luck. I'm pushing my luck because the big problem is music, right? Nord van. Off-road motorhomes service. Well, that's uh, and they're showing a bimobiles. Terra camper. Four by four things. That's probably spray on mud. Yeah, Compania, another company from Slovenia. Slovenia is a motorhome powerhouse, a relatively small country in Europe. It's got, I think it's 14 manufacturers. You know what, Flow Camper. Oh, Almo. Yeah, I'll show you some of their stuff as well later. Oh, yeah, WSR. Space Camper. Verbal. Verts. So Ver Verbal Verts, Space Camper, they're all from Germany. Uh, Camp Mobile, that's from uh, that's from the eastern part of Germany. Schwerin. And that uh, more or less takes us back to where we started from. Or a plug van. They've got this curious system where you plug your van into a another van, into a delivery van. Anyway, I'll have a look at that. Oh, camp line. Sorry, I didn't mention them, did I? Okay. So I like to finish off with the one I started with. Uh, the problem was I no longer remember which one I started off with. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just pick one at random. <laughs> yeah, this this sprinter here. So thank you very much for for watching, and uh, thanks for being with me. That's now 19 minutes. I don't often do 19 minute long videos. Ganz schön, oder? Und, und rein kann ich.